Yo guys, welcome back to another Safe Geek YouTube video on the channel today and I am apologising for being quite behind on this. This news actually came four days ago. I've got to now, life came ahead and chucked itself in there, but I've got to, I've got to it now. We are discussing the leaked Lego gift with purchase of the Venator UCS set. Recently, the UCS Lego Star Wars Republic Attack Cruiser, otherwise known as the Venator, has been revealed and it's all its glory official pictures and all and it's looking amazing i'm stating this now guys if you want to like and subscribe to the channel i will be purchasing it on day one and getting this gift of purchase that we're also going to be discussing today and breaking down which is amazing we're going to captain rex one of the best minifigures this year he has his flaws helmet holes and all that is for a different video what is also for a different video before i jump into the gift of purchase is what we could have got as an alternative to the gift purchase. <coughs> <coughs> Rex's <coughs> <coughs> command room <coughs> on the Venator. <coughs> um, sorry, I just had a cough there. Um, so that will be a separate video. But today we are looking at this leaked uh, image here. So with the purchase of the $650, £550 sterling, UCS Republic Attack Shuttle Cruiser Venator, whatever long name, UCS Venator, you will be receiving this gift of purchase on screen now, which consists of two patches and a Republic credit. We'll break this down and say things about why this is bad, this is good, etc. The two minifigures that you get involved in the set, you get uh, Admiral Ularen and you also get Captain Rex there in their full-fledged uniforms. They're looking not too bad in patches form. Would I have rather received maybe a, a metal version of both of them? Probably. It's cheaper for them to create patches, but there you go. And we also get the Republic credit. We'll go to the Republic credit in just a second, but previous patches that we've received on the uh, Lego side of uh, getting stuff is uh, this. So we've received patches before for different things, patches in terms of Lego dots. You had this patch that you could design and put Lego on and then you, you can put the patch on your actual clothing. So that we had that. We also had several different patches if you wanted to um, customize um, different bits of clothing that Lego's done before. And um, you can see on screen now there's hats, there's this um, backpack that we've done before, other sort of patches that Lego's done before. So this isn't new for Lego doing patches. I think it's new for Star Wars. Correct me in the comments down below. I don't think Lego's ever received anything patches related ever before in terms of a Star Wars a gift of purchase or VIP um, Lego Insider gifts. I don't think anything Star Wars related has ever happened for that, but we have received something similar, Republic credit here. It's quite a cool credit. We see the Republic logo there. We can also see uh, the band of the Lego studs at the top. We haven't seen the other side of the credit, what is on there. Hopefully it might be uh, something cool because it is the 20th year of the Clone Wars. So if the uh, Clone Wars logo was on the other side of the credit, that would be really good. Or it might be nothing, there might be nothing on the other side, or at the very least, it should probably be the same um, logo as what we received here. But something that's similar to the Republic uh, credit was what we got uh, earlier this year. So for May the 4th, guys, um, that's something that's comparable to the Republic credit is the uh, Death Star coin that we got and the Death Star um, blueprints that we got as well. So that is the one comparison that we can make there. I've still not opened uh, that coin, so I could possibly do a comparison of opening that and when I get the gift of purchase of the um, the UCS Venator Republic credit, so that will be cool. Uh, but we got we got an actual buildable set, which on May the 4th as well, with the little version of the mini Death Star 4595 Lego Star Wars set, which I would have wanted to really see. But I think this, this being such a special set, but we should have received something um, like that personally uh, a, a lego official lego set nothing that's just a promotion like this it had to be something physical even a minifigure of some site because it's 650 dollars it's behind that you're going to only receive it on october 1st and these are going to go quick so you would want something to have stuck but there you go previous lego sets so you can't be that disheartened that we got this instead of an actual lego set itself 
at like the UCS Razor Crest, you got absolutely nothing. You got no gift of purchase at all there, but then you have to look at some comparisons that you got in the 8080 for 2021. You actually got uh, the Bill Bowl Luke's Skywalker. So that's something I would have rather have seen in this one, in this version here for $650. Even, I don't know, a mini poly bag that was like a Venator or some sort, but there you go, we don't receive it. Anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed, like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell to keep up to date with all content coming to your face, especially that unboxing of the UCS Venator, that'll be a video, the um, gift of purchase will be a video for this Republic credit and the two uh, patches there. Also watch what will be a video is the vlog to go get it. It's a massive box. Don't know how I'm fit on the train. I'm going to have to somehow do that. And uh, there might, there'll be a build stream. There'll be lots of stuff. And of course the review as well. But hopefully you've enjoyed. Peace out. Have a nice rest of your day. I've been Sif Geek and I'll catch you later on on another YouTube channel video. Bye guys.